All right, folks, Technivers here. This is my Ender 3 V2, and today we're going to be talking about leveling the bed. And this is one of the first steps towards getting proper prints, and it is fairly simple. Don't let people overcomplicate this for you, okay? Now, it's kind of a misnomer. You can't actually place a level onto the bed and follow the bubble to do this. What you're really doing is tramming the bed. And the way that we're going to do that is with this piece of paper right here. Super simple. Nothing over complicated. We don't need to mess around with any files to print or anything like that. We're going to do it all by hand. And by the end of this process, I promise you, you will be level with the bed and printing. So the reason they call it leveling is because you're trying to get each corner to the exact same distance away from the nozzle. But that doesn't necessarily mean that your build plate will come out level. It might be this end just slightly lower than everything else because for some reason the way your printer rides, uh, it's slightly off. Uh, it might be perfect if you have everything tightened and everything squared and your machine is really well tuned, but either way this is something that you need to do at least every couple of prints. I get away with not leveling the bed on this very often. That's why I haven't made this video yet. I leveled it I think twice the whole time that I've had it, but we're gonna go ahead and the first thing we're gonna do is go to prepare over here and then we're going to go to auto home. This is going to set it to its lowest possible position. I got a little dust here I want to wipe off. And all the way to the left with the bed all the way to the back. That puts us near our first corner, which is where we're going to level first. Now, if I tug on the bed, you can see it doesn't move. So what I need to do is scroll up one and click disable stepper. This will allow me to move the heads and the bed itself. And I'm going to do that just now. You can see just barely that my nozzle is barely touching the bed here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it over a little bit. And I'm going to slide the paper underneath. And I'm going to gently push. And if it doesn't slide, then it's a little too tight. And I need to tighten my wheel. Turning the wheel to your right will tighten it up. That will lower the bed away and give you a little bit more room for your paper to slide here. Oh, apparently that was really tight. There we go. Now I can move the paper freely. What I want to do is slowly turn it back to the left until I can just barely move the paper without resistance. Now I have that corner. I'm going to move on to the next corner. We're going to pull it forward a little bit and go down here. And we're going to test this one out. This one is also way too tight. So we're going to tighten the same way until we can just barely move it. And you can almost hear the paper making a vibrating noise as it slides underneath. That's exactly where you want it. And it actually. It's easier once you have it under there if you move the bed and keep the paper in place. And again, we are way too tight. All four of these corners were off. It's a good time to do this video and level the bed. Basically, I'm going to do this on all four corners. Then I'm going to go back and test the first corner and make sure it hasn't moved out of whack at all because a lot of times it will. And there you go. You'll feel it once you hit that sweet spot. You might not know what I'm talking about just now, but when you're there, you will. And it is a very minute turn backwards in order to get the proper pressure that we want there. See, now this one's a little too tight now. Okay, we're pretty good. So what I'm going to do is go over here to the middle and make sure that I can move my paper. It is a little tight but I would rather have it a little tight than a little bit loose and I think that this is going to work pretty well. Let's start up a print and see how well it sticks to the bed. Now the printer is cool so I'm going to give it a minute to heat up. 
Now, the print's going to begin any second here. I do want to note that that white stuff you see on my bed is leftover glue stick. So I'm pretty positive this is going to adhere pretty well. I was running a test with some PETG and having problems with it sticking, so I used a little bit of glue stick on the bed. I don't need that for PLA, and in fact, when we get into the next video and go over my PLA settings, you'll see that I only have the bed turned on to 45 degrees. You don't even really need to turn it on at all for PLA with this machine. The bed surface is super great for adhering to the plastic. So this thing should kick into motion any second now. All right, look at that baby go. It's going to start printing now, and we should have pretty decent adhesion. There it goes. Let's see if we can get a little bit better look. And everything seems to be going down pretty well now. I can do some on-the-fly adjusting because as it prints right here, I can see it's coming out really, really thin and super compressed. So I'm going to tighten these up just a, about an eighth of a turn. And you can see that that increases the flow dramatically. And it's just doing the skirt right now. We'll let it finish up the skirt and see how it starts putting down the actual model before we decide that this is level enough. But it looks like everything is gonna stick. And there we go. It's starting to print nice and smooth. I know it's hard to see black on black. Let me speed this video up a little bit. And there we go. I spread the printer up as well a little bit. And as you can see, everything is still adhering pretty well. The corners are stuck to the bed and everything seems to be level. Now with a really angular model like this, getting those corners to stick and not having any of them pop up is a really good sign. You really don't have to worry about warping or lifting with most PLAs, but if you do have that problem on the first layer, it's a good indication that your bed is not level and you need to start the process over again. And you're probably better off just scrapping your print right there and saving the plastic and printing once you know the bed has been leveled. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. Pretty simple and straightforward, and we will see you in the next one. Stick around. I got a whole playlist of these videos for new Ender 3 version 2 users, and I intend to make several more in the days to come. Well, that's it, guys. That's going to wrap up this video. If you've noticed the shirt, the merch is available. Go ahead and check out the Teespring merch link down below. It won't be available on a channel store until I reach 10,000 subscribers, and so far I am just about to hit... 5,000. So uh, it'll be a little while, a couple more months before you see this on the actual channel, but they are available now. I have a couple other designs. Feel free to pop over there and check them out and know that any purchase through the Teespring site definitely helps to promote our site here and increase the channel's ability to make videos in the future. So we appreciate all your support. Don't forget to check out the Teespring link. Check out our Patreon link. Leave a like on this video and hit that subscribe button because we have a lot more coming at you in the coming days.